Hi, this is AJ from WPExplore.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make use of the navigation bar module and the total WordPress theme to create a jQuery filter for one of your total grid modules. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our dashboard, dashboard and create a new menu. All right, so let's go create a menu. And for this particular guide, I'm going to show you how to create a filter for a portfolio grid. So I'm going to call it portfolio grid filter. Now I want my filter to be able to filter the grid items by their categories. But first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a link, an all link. So when visitors click that link, it'll display all the items in the grid below after they've selected a, another item from the grid filter. So next I'm gonna add in my categories. So you can actually add as many categories or you can even add tags. I just don't have any in this demo or any other terms that your posts are related to, whether they're added via plugin or a child theme. I just have um, categories for now. And you can also move these around however you want. All right, and I'm gonna save that menu. Now, since I already have portfolio items, as you can see, since I have categories, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new page and I'm gonna insert my portfolio grid onto the page and then the filter. So let's create this page and call it portfolio grid oops, grid with filter and let's make this a no sidebar so full with page and let's publish it all right now let's edit in the front end editor which is the visual composer live editor all right and let's add our portfolio grid so click add element portfolio grid and there's our default grid um, this module has tons of different settings, as you can see, to alter the way things look and work, but we're just gonna keep it uh, default for this uh, specific video guide. And you'll also notice that the portfolio grid actually has a built-in filter option. So if you enable that, you'll see it'll add a filter for the categories. But the reason you may want to make a menu is because you may want to reorder the way these um, are displayed, the categories, or you may want to add other terms such as tags. By default, the portfolio grid and other total grid modules will only display the categories for the filter. So let's disable that and close it. And now let's add a navigation bar module. And this again is another exclusive uh, Visual Composer module for the total WordPress theme. And uh, let's add a little spacing under it. All right, now the next step is we're gonna need to give your portfolio grid or the grid you're using a custom ID. So that's right here. And so this is a unique ID, so it should be used anywhere else on the site. And the reason we need it is so we can tell our custom menu filter what grid we are filtering. So let's just call it my prefix, our portfolio grid. It's very important that this ID is completely unique and nowhere else on the site. So I recommend changing this, my prefix, to something that only you would use, for example. And let's copy that and let's save changes. Let's go back to our navigation bar module. And first, let's select the menu we created earlier. So the portfolio grid filter. And now you can see it's got all the links we added in the menu earlier under appearance menus. And then the next step is right here where it says post filter grid ID. That's where you're gonna enter the name of the custom grid um, ID that you gave earlier. Save changes. And once you do that, you can see when we click these items, look, it'll filter the grid by the categories that you had in the menu. And so that's pretty cool. And the benefit of using the navigation bar module as opposed to the built-in setting, like I said earlier, is you can add as many categories as you want you can also add tags or custom terms. Um, you can place the menu wherever you want as well. This menu could be in a different column, for example. And then the other benefit is the navigation bar module has lots of design settings. So you can change the way these links um, look completely. For example, maybe you just want plain text links. There you go, now you have plain text links. And maybe you wanna change the way they look. So you can do that right here as well. So let's make um, black. There you go. So as you can see, um, 
this new function is very, very awesome and, and it adds a lot more flexibility to uh, the jQuery filters uh, for the total modules. One thing to note is that this uh, filter will only work on total grid modules. So what does that mean? Oops, I didn't mean to add a new row. Let's um, add a new module. That means that under total, that means that it will work on the following modules. Blog grid, post types grid, um, portfolio grid, staff grid, testimonials grid. And of course, when you make your menu, you'll want to, of course, add items for that specific grid. It's like if you're filtering a testimonials grid, you'll obviously want to add items to the menu that are testimonial categories, for example. Same with the staff. For the staff, you may want to create a menu and add staff categories and staff tags. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, of course, like always, feel free to leave a comment on TeamForce for support or open a private ticket and we'll help you out.